we're just at the Royal Ontario Museum. Well, we're just across the street right now in uh, Toronto. We actually braved it and walked. It's really cold. Yeah, something happened. I don't know. There's a lot of construction, as you can see, in this area. But take a look. We're going to the museum. Check it out. It's a beautiful glass building. Yeah. The Royal Ontario Museum. Apparently, there's all kinds of really cool stuff in there. Why don't you come join us, guys? Our World TV live at the Royal Ontario Museum. We're going to show you everything inside. That's how they make it. That's how they do their stitching. Wow, that takes a lot of precision and coordination. Taco Bella. I love museums. Wow, look at that. See what I mean? Look at that, guys. Guacamole! Guacamole! Chipotle! <laughs> Taco Bell! Taco Bell. <laughs> this is how we roll our world style, baby. Mexico. The Mexican exhibit. Mexico! <laughs> arriba, arriba! Tostino, Samana, Tostino. It's an African artist. The entire wall, guys. Isn't it beautiful? Maybe the museum will come to life. Maybe if we stay here all night, the museum might come alive at night. Party at the museum. Night at the museum, our world style, baby. We should stay for the night. It locked up somewhere in here. This stuff, guys. This is what museums are all about, man. Beautiful artifacts. This is all kind of familiar to us guys, as we've been in South Africa. But it's really cool to see. Oh, there's the soapstone. The Aboriginal stuff. There's pipes. Even a blade. An outfit of some sorts. Some jewelry, guys. The attention to detail they took to their clothing in those days. It's not like today. There's artifacts, man. Oh, look at these bowls. Look at the detail inside. Look at the fine detail in there. Look at that. Look at this one. Look at that, guys. Well, the detail in each individual line. Wow, this is from the southern United States, guys. This guy's pretty pissed, guys. Check that out. Probably hasn't had his coffee yet. Though. I sleep like a rock and I love to sleep and I'm like forever <laughs> sleeping in and like missing things I just love to hug my pillow and sleep. My name is Sitting Duck because I like just chilling around. That's right. <laughs> sitting Duck That's and right. Sleeping Rock. That's right. Thumbs sitting up for Sitting Duck, duck and rock. Sleeping Rock. What's, what, what's your guys' Indian names? Why don't you guys let us know in the comments below what, what, what's your Indian name or what would you call yourself if you had an Indian name? Okay. We did. We named ourselves. It's a really fun <laughs> thing to do. You guys should try it out. Make Indian names for yourself. And uh, if you guys do that, maybe in the next video we can actually mention some of the coolest uh, Indian names you guys come up with. Oh, wow. Imagine if an uh, Indian chief were in that. Wow. Shrunken head. Guys, it's a shrunken head. 
As part of warfare, Shua men took enemy heads and shrunk the heads to pacify the slain enemy. Nowadays, people just start feuds on YouTube. <laughs> Photography was practiced in South Asia within a year of its invention in Western Europe in the late 1830s. Check it out. Early photography. Let's get a good zoom on that so you guys can see it. This is court culture. Ancient laws on manuscripts. Sri Lanka, India. They put their laws on these tablet thingies. That's what it looked like. Their laws were written this way. Tablet that makes the museum come to life at night, guys? Kinda looks like it could be. Really interesting. This is a model of the Golden Temple in India. The architecture's pretty cool on that. There's a Quran. Islamic religious practice. Other religions. Christianity. Orthodox Christian canon table. Torah. Oh, pottery. From Israel. From Jericho. Damascus. Oh my word, look at the scripture says like earthen vessels. Wow, look at it guys. Now that's something I really like. From Israel. It's amazing because we actually really want to go to Israel together. It'd be really cool to vlog from there as well. That's our next stop, Israel. Thumbs up for Israel and traveling. Smash that like button if you're loving these artifacts, man. First alphabet. This is was created 600 years before Christ. One of many striding lines which decorated the walls in the ceremonial hall in the palace of King Nebuchadnezzar. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is, that's an actual Torah scroll and case. Isn't that beautiful? So old. These are biblical texts. Old biblical texts of the Hebrew Bible written around 3,000 years ago, man. It's actual Bibles, guys. From 3,000 years ago. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Writing of the ancient world, man. Check it out. See how it looks. Get it in focus for you. This is how they used to write in the ancient world. This is stone vessels from ancient Egypt, 2,686 years before Christ. See all these artifacts. The Step Pyramid. A fragment of royal inscription. Hieroglyphics. These things are so old, man. I don't know how they preserve them so well. You go down boats like this in the Nile. Mummy portraits. Painted plaster mummy masks. Probably put this on top of a mummy so you could see what the characteristics of the person look like, I presume. Entering ancient Rome. Ancient Rome, man. Oh, pottery. Hope you're having fun with us, guys. Just checking out all the artifacts and historical things. It's awesome. You can also touch these screens here and it'll give you information. Sometimes show you a little video and you can choose what you want to see. Guys, this this Roman statue is 50 to 100 years after Jesus AD. It was of a mother and child and it was made out of marble. And I'm going to give it a little touch. And this sleeping Cupid, the Greek Hellenistic bronze original that inspired the sculpture, was created around 150 years before Christ. Can you believe it? This Cupid yeah. was created 150 years before Christ. It's amazing. These are created, they are created 300 to 200 years BC before Christ. This is an old coffin. Beautiful artifacts. Some ancient bling, guys. Irish gold, they say this is. This is statues and art. It's ancient Cyprus. 
Oh wow, these are created 700 years before Christ and 30 years after Christ. This is that how old these are. Right. This was made 500 years before Christ. This is before Christ, guys. Now we're in the Greek side, guys. Hel the Hellenistic Age. Show you some Greek artwork. Still keep to this theme. If you ever visited Greece, they still have a lot of the artwork looks like this. Aphrodite in the 14th century. 5th century BC guy as well. The head of Zeus, the, the most renowned sculptor of the gods in classical Greece. Head of Athena, Cupid with a quiver. Bling, ancient gold jewelry. So look at that. Check it out, man. Ancient Greek coins. This is what money looked like back in the day. Look at that. Here's some more coins. It's really, really interesting. Great. Check out these beautiful coins. Damascus, Syria. This is Alexander the Great's conquests, all in red. All the way from Macedonia, all the way through. Look how far he went. 325 BC. Isn't that amazing? Conquests of Alexander the Great. These are the gold wreaths that the Greeks would wear in the 3rd century. Solid, solid gold. Na 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 na, bat cave. We are going to the bat cave. Alright guys, we are now approaching the bat cave. Who knows what's gonna jump out at us. Wow, these bats are close. The colors on that one. The Royal Albatross, look how big that span of the wings are on that thing, man. Beautiful butterfly specimens. Look at the look at the actual look at the color on that thing, right? Look at the green. Absolutely beautiful. I love this kind of stuff. Beetles. All the stuff you'll find in a rainforest. That is crazy. Would not want to be alone in a rainforest. Freaky stuff, man. Who am I seeing these up close? Bird egg. Huge. Huge polar bear. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that. Fox. Rhinoceros. Wow. Huge. The world's largest flower, guys. Shoe ball. Hello, Mr. Bear. Look at this tiger. Sure. Absolutely beautiful. Moose. Whoa. Check it out. Up close and personal. Don't move guys. Do not move. I do not want to be up close to that snake. A bit of Africa for you guys. how beautiful these fish are. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the color on these fish, man. Look at this. Check this out. This blue. Look at all these underwater shells. Look how beautiful they are. Dinosaurs are prehistoric. This is really cool. And these are like real dinosaur bones and stuff. Life on land, 145 to 65 million years ago. These amazing dinosaurs. This is 150 million years old. Wow. Some of them are not, they're real, and yeah. some of them are so cool. So they're, wow. Really? Oh, yeah. These are actually real. This is 150 million years old and it's real carcass of a dinosaur. Just ask the guy who works here. It's constructed, half of it's real. Oh, 
<laughs> Nothing comes alive at night. <laughs> uh, you hear creaks and stuff. Do like, you? Yeah. Spooky. Uh, by myself. I was the hell is yeah, Like a movie they did nothing. Nice they all come alive at night, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but yeah, you get some scary stories. Really? You said that they have heard some strange stories that go on at night and some strange sounds. So put in the comments below if you think the museums come alive. Nice of the, the museum. museum. Look at this massive skeleton. That is huge, man. I do not want that thing running after me. This thing is like 180 million years old, it says. Look at that. Wow, man, look at the bone structure on this thing. I'm just looking for that T-Rex. I haven't found it yet, but this thing's looking pretty insane. on that thing. Do not want to get stuck with that, let me tell you. Look at the scale of this thing. It's crazy, man. I never saw anything like this before. It's awesome. It's the real carcasses of dinosaurs. The giant turtle. Can you imagine they're coming alive, like at movies? So a lot of these giant fruits were only eaten by the mounted skin and skull South American recent monkey, I think. First Nation of Canada. So both said them had We've got like 30 seconds because I want to close the museum. Oh, it's huge, but it's beautiful. Wow. First Nation, Native Americans of Canada, Red Indians with the headdress. Hey, how warrior. Hey, how warrior. Look at their paintings. Look, um, animal hide. They wanted to see this, so we had to ask to quickly see it. The Red Indian Eskimos, Native American Eskimos. Canada's First Nation. Wow, all the First Nations things. Look at this. The beautiful coloring on that. Man. Amazing. Oh, there you go, like the moccasins. Those are beautiful moccasins. Wow, they used to wear. Amazing. The museum is actually closed, and I'm actually wondering if we're actually going to get locked in here. I'm not sure if I can find my way out in time. I'm actually wondering if we're actually going to get locked in here. We locked in. We locked in? So we made it outside, and we didn't get locked in, but that was pretty scary for a minute there. That was scary. They started announcing that they're closed. I thought we were going to be locked in for the night. But it would have been cool to see the museum come alive, that's yeah. for sure. And the guy, the, the guy did tell us that strange things happened that night, so you never know. But he couldn't explain, like he didn't want to go into detail. Yeah. He, looked, he looked kind of nervous and scared, like we shouldn't have been asking that. Yeah, that's true. I wonder, I wonder if it's like the, the movie. I bet you Never it's done. exactly like the Maybe that movie is based on real events. I bet it is. Check out this huge totem pole, guys. Made by the First Nation Indians. We're just outside the uh, Royal Ontario Museum. We just came outside, guys. Look how beautiful Toronto is at night. Oh, cool. Ph Phantom of the Opera in the distance. And there's Louis, there's Louis Vuitton. There it is guys, the museum at night. We were just in there. The museum was awesome and it was well worth it. 